Thousands of customers were without power today as a result of the heavy snow. This afternoon, XL Energy reporting nearly 19,000 people were without electricity. Right now, somewhere around 200 outages remain affecting uh, more than 1,000 customers at uh, around 9.30 tonight. Now, this kind of weather adds strain to a power grid in Minnesota that is aging. Today, Xcel Energy announced it will spend billions of dollars to modernize its transmission and distribution system. More than two-thirds of the utility poles in Minnesota are at least half a century old now. Fox 9's Mike Manzoni shows us how the company is trying to prepare an aging power grid for even stronger storms. I get a little bit of vibration from the track. We started on a street in Eden Prairie. Then ventured off road and winded down a bike path. Just gonna back up a little bit. Before heading into the woods. That's where crews from Excel Energy started checking utility poles. They do it five days a week, inspecting them from the ground while two drones fly overhead. High def pictures will allow us to visually inspect them from very close up uh, to look for holes, rust, loose connections, etc. Excel has a half a million poles throughout Minnesota, and documents show most of them are more than 50 years old. Well, age is really not that important in terms of determining what needs to be replaced or not. Uh, we build assets for decades. Excel might build them to last for decades, but they don't always make it that long. The utility's own report to state regulators shows that older poles fail at a faster rate. The biggest jump happens between 60 and 70 years old. That's when the failure rate nearly triples from just over 5% to more than 15. The average poll in Minnesota is now 54 years old, and Excel says polls that age are now reaching the end of their life. So you'd be looking at uh, things that could fail suddenly, could fail rapidly. Dr. Mahmoud Kabbalan runs the Center for Microgrid Research at the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul. He says the aging power grid poses threats that are hard to predict. Once they age beyond a certain limit, um, a big storm could take them out. If you just don't know when it fails, it could stay operation and could meet the specs, but a, a large storm, a light, large ice storm or high winds uh, could cause uh, those, po those poles to fail. That's why Excel inspects and replaces thousands of poles every year. It's also working on rolling out a new inspection program to identify and replace degraded equipment on the top of poles, which will harden the system during severe weather like the storms that hit Minnesota this past summer. And as you can see behind me, this neighborhood in St. Louis Park, completely dark tonight. Those storms knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of homes in July and August. In fact, right now, XL Energy is dealing with a growing number of power outages. Fox 9 talked with frustrated renters and homeowners who lost power for days, including some who couldn't use life-saving medical devices. Uh, once I can't take that, it makes it hard for me to breathe, and I can die in my sleep. Excel and other power grid experts say weather causes more problems than it did decades ago. The climate changing is a big challenge that we need to get uh, prepared for. As weather events become more severe, outages do rise with it. So there is, there is a strong correlation between severe weather and outages. You can avoid those problems by putting lines underground how do we make sure that we're protecting by burying our power lines? How Governor Tim Walz even brought it up at the vice presidential debate in October, but burying lines has one big drawback. But to convert an overhead system to an underground system is very costly. And it's not just costly for the utility, which ultimately gets into our price. It's also expensive for our homeowners. No one has an easy fix for the aging power grid, but Excel hopes its frequent inspections and regular replacements will help. It's in our DNA to keep the lights on for our customers, and we really feel their frustration when they go out. 
And Excel crews replaced roughly 6,000 of the more than 55,000 poles that they inspected last year. The utility also recently snagged a $100 million federal grant. That money will go toward a new program to fix pole tops. In that effort, will begin later this year. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Manzoni, Fox 9.